Day two of SEMA starts now. So for getting in those very odd places, this is the ExoFit Extreme Access Ratcheting Wrench. Now, you can see here we got a couple of joints here in the design of this wrench, and so I can index this at three different locations in both of these joints. So I can get to the side, but watch this. I can pull this out and turn this, and now I've changed the angle at which we're getting to. So really cool where you can set up whatever you need to to get around the corner to get to that to get access to that faster and you can change these different sizes out get this in a single form or in a kit form in SAE and or metric we're here at the Milwaukee booth at the SEMA show and this is the new neck light that just released last week this is the 2117 runs on the red lithium USB battery pack you can see here so the battery can, can be removed and charged that way or it can be charged with the USB type C port right there on the light now you can run this on high or low the buttons right here and you can also adjust each light independently around your neck or both of them and you're going to get a high and a low so 250 lumens and 400 lumens and you're going to get two and a half hours of runtime or eight hours of runtime on low This is the panel beater and this runs off of a battery. So this is all battery powered. You can dial in your power right there and uh, uses that DC power of the battery to weld itself to the panel and then pull dents. So just a quick arc. And then a quick twist. Do a quick grind on it, Sam, you're good to go. We're here at the zero degree booth at the SEMA show, and they have zero degree gearless ratchets as well as zero degree gearless ratcheting wrenches. So, very smooth. So, there is no ratcheting going on, there's no teeth and paws like typical ratcheting wrenches or ratchets. Just to give you an example, I've got a 90 tooth ratchet here. If I go in here, you see we get no movement on that needle there where I can swap this out and go to the zero degree gearless ratchet very easily it's moving that needle on every swing and I can go to the zero degree wrench and the same thing so very smooth operation uh, the wrenches should be available very soon uh, the ratchets are actually already available on homedepot.com, like uh, $25 for a quarter inch, $35 for a three eighths, and about 40 for a half inch. the JM3 oil filter wrench booth and we've got their oil filter wrench. This is much different than anything uh, you've probably used before because what you want to do is put this on here and then twist and that's not how you operate this oil filter wrench. Very cool. Put this on here and then what you want to do is kind of keep this stationary and squeeze here and that engages 
those teeth into that oil filter wrench, flip it over, left-handed, no problem for tightening. So really cool oil filter wrench that works much different than anything out there and you can really get some torque onto those and not just for small oil filters, also heavy equipment, diesel stuff as well. And look at the teeth on here that bite into that. So you're gonna get that oil filter off. It's not gonna be a pain for you anymore. So we're back at the OmniWall booth checking out their kit here for detailers. So really cool setup to hold uh, not only the pads, but the polishers as well, completely integrated into their OmniWall system that will go in a vertical state or a horizontal state. Uh, also places for your polishes, uh, you name it, and then even into your hand tools, gloves, things like that as well. So great system from OmniWall here at the SEMA show. We're here at the Koken USA booth at the SEMA Show 2022 and looking at a couple of really unique offerings that they have. They have their nut grip design, which you can see, we've got a spring around uh, the outside edge of this 10 millimeter and there's two little ball detents in there that are gonna hold that bolt in the socket. They also have the grip ring design here on the hex key or Allen key design as well. So it will hold those fasters on there as well. And even on their universal sockets, you still have the nut grip ring on there that's going to hold that fastener. So really cool design from Koken. And by the way, if you use the uh, code SEMA2022 at kokenusa.com, you get 20% off. We're here at the Assembly Tool Specialist booth and uh, they started out as making kind of anti-marring tools. So like filler gauges here that are not going to mar any finishes, even into uh, things like here where you're checking door gaps, which again, you're not gonna scratch any paint or anything. And then they really got into working uh, with the auto manufacturers and making tools that just make a lot of sense. Like you see here, uh, you have uh, magnets in there, very strong magnets that are holding that faster in place. Again, anti-marring here on the surface. And then it, even into like dual use tools here. So here we have a 10 millimeter. And after you run that in, you can push this out. And then we have a T25. So you don't have to stop, change tools or change uh, any accessories to then go on to running your Torx bits in. So they have a complete line of different tools to save time for those that are in manufacturing and doing multiple jobs all the time. We're here at the American Innovative Manufacturing booth and they have a battery powered welder. Now this is their 350 multi and it runs on two batteries and will run pretty much all day long depending on what you're welding. Um, but if you're running, uh, let's say a quarter inch, you're welding quarter inch, you'll get about 500 inches of weld off the two battery system and then plug it in and recharge it. So a much cleaner weld when you're dealing with straight DC power instead of inverting it. Well, that's a wrap from day two of SEMA. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and even TikTok. Have a great one. We'll see you tomorrow.